Hey everybody, welcome back. It's no secret that I'm a fan of Classic MTG, and that's where I got my roots. I started around Revised and worked my way into 4th Edition, Ice Age, 5th Edition, and a bunch of the sets that were in between. And this is a repack set that claims they pack in old cards from old sets. So, we're going to crack this open and we're going to give it a shot. I don't know how reputable this person is. Um, each pack is $1.25 plus shipping. So I can't imagine there's going to be a ton of value in here. But we're going to open this up and we're going to see anyway. So the claim is you will get a mix of randoms in here. So you can get, I think it's like six, six commons, couple uncommons, uh, a rare, and then you're guaranteed one old bordered card. So let's see. I have an international collector's edition card in here. All right. So that is incredibly unexpected. And that's in really good condition. That is in really good condition. And it is a Consecrate Land from International Collector's Edition. Wow. I don't know the value on this, but I can tell you that I am very impressed that, it, that, that this is in here. And it's actually in really, really good shape. Let's just take a look at that for a minute. And... We're gonna grab a sleeve and you're gonna sleeve this up. Now, I don't know how much it's worth, but it's definitely worth putting into a sleeve. So that's crazy. So we've already had our first throwback hit. So maybe their claims are correct. Uh, Maybe, you know what I'll do is, if this is actually a decent and this is a legitimate set, I will put somewhere in here, I'll put uh, I'll put a link to their eBay. Their eBay page. Alright, we got another backwards card. And we have Legends. We have Hornet Cobra. So they did say that... Some of the older cards that would be in here are going to be a mix of light play. They could be near mint. This is definitely a light play. But we have a Legends card, nonetheless. I don't think I'm going to go through and, and sleeve every single card, but... Uh, that's crazy. So this is, a legitimate, uh, this is a legitimate claim, then. Looks like... Uh, tons of newer stuff. Patrick Automaton is actually... That's like uh, 75 cents or something like that. That's not a bad hit. Old stick fingers. And another Legends card. Keeper of the Faith. And this one's in really good shape. I would say... Definitely cut. Definitely cut heavy on the bottom. I'd say that's probably a, if a very light play or a close to mint. Don't know if it's gradable. All right, so this is another backwards card. So I'm assuming that this is going to be another card. And we have Moss Monster. This is definitely a light play mo Moss Monster. But it's another Legends card. So... Yeah, the claims are definitely legit. Uh, these packs came out to be a dollar twenty-five a piece plus shipping, which I think was like another dollar. It was fifty-seven cents. Uh, I put a hundred dollars down on this. So, and we have is that from the dark? We have got marsh gas from the dark. All right. Uh, all told, I have this, and then I have another one that I haven't. I haven't had a chance to go through, but I also didn't want to make this, you know, a you know, 55 minute video. Looks like there are also some Kamigawa in there. Alright, we got land leeches from the dark. Also in a light play condition. So good. Uh I mean again, even the common cards, I don't care that they're 
only 25 cents and sure you could get them for cheaper you know somewhere else this is fun to me this is fun ah <laughs> this is from arabian nights it's ron orgas ogress from arabian nights so there are arabian nights cards in here so i do remember vaguely that it was advertised that you can get antiquities revised you can even get alpha and beta in this um whether we see one of those alpha cards or a beta card, I don't know. But we did get International Collector's Edition, so I guess technically, yes, we did get a beta. Suspicious Stowaway is actually not a bad, not a bad rare either. All right. So I think I'm trying to look to see how faded this is, but this is going to be an unlimited. It looks like. And there are a ton of packs in here. And there are two backwards cards. So I wonder if there is a special or a extra. Nope. Okay. <laughs> just, uh, just our, our, uh, foil, foil Japanese. Another legends card for us. So, couldn't tell you how much these Legends cards are going to go for. Uh, I'll put the prices over here already. Looks like we got some uh, tons of different sets in here. A lot of variety. More Legends, Keeper of the Faith. So that's our duplicate card. More of the dark. So the, the person who put this up, you know, was very specific when they said, this is for fun. And this is actually my idea of fun. Getting a repack, sure, it probably doesn't have a ton of value. But these are all cards that I used to play with. Uh, I definitely remember an you know an animate artifact you know or a copy artifact uh old school like remove soul things like that those were cards that i used to play with tons of legend cards in here this is this is gonna beat up a uh Dominaria united uh collector booster pack any day of the week and this is actually going to go really good in my collection. Uh, nice. We have Dark. We have Fisher from the Dark. Fisher from the Dark. I have um, tons of 5th, tons of 4th edition. And obviously I have everything from uh, the Vintage series. that I, We have another International Collector's Edition. And this thing is like it's a little bit of damage across this side here, like in the middle. But it's in pretty good shape. Like, the corners are good. Alright, what do we got? Healing Salve. Alright. Again, I mean, it's... Okay, it's crazy that I get a little bit excited over Healing Salve. But it's International Collector's Edition. Like That sets like $20,000 right now. So, I don't feel like you see many of those just floating around. That Aurora Phoenix. I've got a hundred of those. And oh, look at that. We have Antiquities. We have Yoshin Soldier. So this is a nice... There's a nice, like, variety here of, of different cards. You know, we've got Commander Legends. Looks like we've got Ravnica. Crimson Vow. More Crimson Vow. And then Dawn Glade is from Commander Legends as well. And then we get, looks like another Unlimited. For the Merfolk of the Pearl Trident, which is actually like a staple of, you know, this set of Magic the Gathering. At least in my opinion. Undead Butler, alright. 
Ravenous Rot Belly in the extended art. And we're going to get Goblin Hero from the dark. Just so many iconic cards in here. And like these all are in pretty decent shape. Divine Offering. And again, this is probably a minor play. But they're in pretty decent shape. Like if you look at these cards, like you know, they're not horribly beaten up. I don't think any of them are pack fresh. Alright, we get Devouring Deep from Legends. This one is actually in really good condition. There is no chipping, there's no glinting, there's no smudges, there's no smearing. That's a really good shaped card. All right, now we're getting into Kalheim, Court of Ire from Commander Legends. So it makes me wonder if this person is somebody who did a bunch of mass openings. We've got Ghost Ship from the Dark. Somebody who did a you know a bunch of mass openings <clears throat> and just has these cards lying around. Nevenerals Disc. Got the Goblin Rock Sled. From the dark. Another International Collector's Edition. This is crazy. I've never in my life owned a card. Oh, this is just regular Collector's Edition. I've never in my life owned a card from Collector's Edition. And I now have three. And this is a absolutely mint fear. Now, I can't imagine there's going to be power in here. I cannot imagine there's going to be a dual land in here. But, I mean, they're putting in the work. I mean, yeah, sure, they're, they're probably putting in 25 cent, you know, cards. Another one, Artifact Blast. And this is in really good shape. Surface, not so hot. This is in really good shape. And we're, I'd say we're about halfway, a little more than halfway through. Goblin Digging Team from the Dark. It's a very nice variety. I don't think we've pulled any revised yet, and I don't think we've had, definitely have not have any beta yet outside of the collector's edition cards. All right, we got the Grape Shot Catapult. That's in a, a pretty beat up condition. That's, that's a minor play for sure. Shadow Kim. All right, we have another duplicate. It's a Hornet Cobra from Legends. Goblin Shrine from the dark. Very heavy on the dark. Now I do know that there is a very small chance for a God Pack, as they put it, where all 12 cards that are in here will be Black Border Retros. And considering that they're living up to the retro hype. So we've got Inquisition from the Dark. Since they're living up to their word about all of this being in here, I would venture to say that somebody will get lucky enough that they will open a God Pack. I can't say what's going to be in there. All right, Cardiverse Plant from the Dark. But I can imagine that they're going to keep up their end of the bargain on that one. And Scavenger Folk from the Dark. So a lot of these cards I played with, too. No Counterspells, no, no Shatterstorms, no, 
no uh, remove soul or anything like that. Alright, Wall of Shadows from Legends. Looks like we're working up to our last couple of packs here. So far, I'm impressed. Alright, Battering Ram. Deep water from the dark. The haunts are dark in here. All right, we got Samway Healer. And there is another international or regular collector's edition card in here. And it is collector's edition, and it is in immaculate shape. And it is Jump, another iconic card. Again, not value-wise, probably not the biggest, but man, it is just nice. It's refreshing to see a repack that actually delivers on what they say. And they're straightforward about it. You know, they say... There's some damage on there. They say, don't expect to pull Black Lotus, but at the same time, you don't expect that, but you also, I guess you're not 100% sure that you're going to get all of this. Goblin Digging Team. Again, a duplicate from the dark. And our last pack of this box is going to be... Devouring Deep, another duplicate from Legends. So tell me what you guys think. This is a total of about $50 worth of cards so far that I paid for. And I have another box that has another $50 worth. Tell me what you guys think about this. Is it worth it getting all of these cards? Is this something that, you know, I should waste my time on? Or, you know, is this just something that's fun and something that you would enjoy doing and i'll put the link to the ebay page again this this is not sponsored but i'll put the link to that ebay page um down below in the description and then that's it so like this video if you guys liked it dislike it if you dislike it and leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think is maybe the best hit out of all of these cards that i opened today and if you're not subscribed to new on there's a button down below for that and i will catch you guys all on the next video